it's Mario here and in this quick video you're gonna learn how to estimate your daily caloric intake so how do you figure out how many calories you need to eat and this is a good question for everybody who's starting on a diet or anybody who's interested in losing fat or gaining muscle caloric intake the energy balance is the fundamental of every single diet so that's the first step of every diet setup is to figure out your calories and the first step to figure out your calories is knowing your daily caloric intake when it comes to maintaining your weight so then you can manipulate that in a way that you want to lose weight or gain weight so how do you do this? Well, there's many different ways online. There's a bunch of calculators. There's a bunch of different calculations as well. I'm gonna give you two basic ways here. One is gonna be the fast, uh, inaccurate way of doing things, kind of the dirty way of calculating your calories. And the second one is gonna be the uh, very, very accurate way based on real life data. So let's go into the first way. Well, it's quite simple. Basically, you take your weight in pounds, you multiply that by 11, and that gets you the resting metabolic rate approximately. And then you multiply that by the amount of activity you have plus how many exercise days you have per week. So let's give you a quick example here. I'm gonna leave all these calculations in the description below as well as how to calculate your macros, what to do with your calories and all of that with a bunch of links in the description where you can check out after the video. But this one, let's say an example, male, 160 pounds and um, exercise four days a week and it's a computer programmer. So that person, 160 times 11, gives about 1,760. That's the resting metabolic rate, sedentary, and then we multiply that by, let's say, four times a week is exercise by 1.4. So 1,760 times 1 1.4. If he was exercising five times a week, it would be times 1.5 quite simple, very dirty and accurate, you know, just spits out a number. It doesn't really give, give you much accuracy there. Not a lot of data that's required from you as well, except your body weight, which makes it a little bit less accurate. But in general, I mean, it's a good starting point. It's better than nothing, right? Aside from that, I mean, if the person was likely active or more active or super, super active, then you would start those multipliers either from 1.5, 1.9, or 1.7. If someone's like a construction worker, physical job, exercising three times a week, I mean, that would be 1.9, not 1.3, with the multiplier with resting metabolic rate. So I'm gonna leave, as I said, all these calculations in the description below for you guys, if you're interested in spitting out a number for yourself. This uh, method is as accurate as any calculator online. So any calculator online will give you uh, the same kind of number. You know, it's gonna ask you for a lot of different data points, like your body fat level estimate, your age, your height, your weight, like all these things, and just spits out the number. So this number is not gonna be accurate. I mean, if you look at all the calculators out there, I was uh, pretty much using all of them and they were all about three to about 600 calories off for me once I actually started getting into this and getting deeper and deeper into calculating my own caloric intake. So the second method is the one I would recommend. Basically the second method starts off the same way as the first method, you just get a number. You can get the number from a calculator online or you can just use the formula that I just gave you. I'm gonna leave one online calculator that I think is really, really good in the description below for you guys to check out. So that's the step one of the method two. Uh, once you get that number, now it's time for you to validate that number on uh, measuring your data. So measuring your number one food intake and number two, what you're going to be measuring is your body weight. So you're going to need two tools for this. For the food intake, you're going to be needed a tool like MyFitnessPal that allows you to log your food. And uh, that's the one I recommend. You can use any software or any app you want. You can use a spreadsheet if you want to. And then the second thing, you need the digital uh, weight scale bathroom scale which you can step on basically every morning if you want to do it naked you can if you want to do it with just a piece of underwear that's cool as well make it consistent you want to weigh yourself every single day and you also want to hit your caloric intake every single day the same and also keep the foods consistent for about two weeks so you take two weeks for this phase of estimating your caloric intake and that's how much you need as a minimum to kind of compare the numbers so Basically, as I said, two weeks, my fitness pal, full on logging and tracking your body weight. So let's say the number that the calculator spit out was about 3000 calories and we're dealing with a 200 pound male who exercises four days a week. So let's say 3000 calories, we did week one, his uh, weight was kind of the same, about 200 pounds. And then week two, his weight dropped to about 199 pounds. What does that tell us? Well, that tells us that 3000 calorie intake was actually a deficit for the person because the person was dropping weight. And then we can see from that weight change because the change was a, a pound per week, 
we know that to lose a pound per week, we need about 3,500 calorie of a deficit per week. Then we can easily, oh yeah, well now the person, okay, if we add 500 calories on top of the 3,000, he's gonna be maintaining because he was in a 500 calorie deficit because he lost a pound. It's a quite simple uh, and easy calculation there because it gives you real life data and it gives you what the person really responded to. And um, then we have the 3,500 mark and if, same as the person was gaining a pound at 3,000 calories, I mean, we could have easily just said, oh shit, we, we overestimated the amount of calories by 500 per day. And then you can easily tone it down back to 2,500 and say, well, 2,500 now is the maintenance. And then you figure out the maintenance. And from there, it's super, super easy to do this because once you have the maintenance, you just simply have to manipulate the maintenance in a way where you want to lose fat or you want to gain muscle. So whatever the goal is, you want to stay the same and do a body recomp, like a kind of a slower losing fat or gaining uh, size phase where you're just staying the same calorie intake, giving your body enough food and really focused on your athletic goals and getting stronger and stronger in the gym. So that would be the best way I would say to estimate your caloric intake. I mean, obviously now with that caloric intake, we want to go into splitting that into macros, which I, I'm going to leave a, a video a link in the description below for you guys to check out. And aside from that, I mean, as I said, estimate your maintenance, put it into macros, divide it into different meals around the day, use some kind of meal structure. You can use intermittent fasting, you can use any other meal structure, it doesn't really matter. Get your daily protein. As I said, macros are the key as well. Continue tracking if you want with MyFitnessPal. I mean, if you, I mean, that's my recommendation. If you don't want to, that's also cool. But the key is really to know that figure at the beginning of the diet and then maybe do a recalculation after a while, let's say eight weeks in or 12 weeks in to figure out, okay, what is my new maintenance because the maintenance will be changing. It's a kind of a moving target depending how your body weight is changing and also other different factors. If you've been dieting for a while, like your diet history and like all these other factors. So it's really critical to estimate this accurately in the beginning so you can get on the right starting point for the diet. So hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you ever used a calculator before and how accurate was that online calculator for you in terms of estimating your caloric maintenance. Aside from that, make sure to hit that subscribe button right in the face to support the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.